Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, January 9th, and I thought it would be fun to just do a Sunday reset. So, some of you guys know I've been off from work for a week. So, I thought it would be fun to pick the camera up and just kind of take you guys along with me today as I get a lot of things done. So, it is currently, it's almost 12 o'clock, if not 12 o'clock. So, this morning I just sat down and I took some time to feed my soul read my word, pray, catch up with a few family members. Um, and also I got my to-do list done. I sat down and kind of went through everything that I have for the upcoming week. Um, I reviewed that and I also looked at, um, and I also did this section in my planner where it talks about like what some of my wins were for last week and some of the things that I'm working on for this week. So I had a chance to sit down and go over all of that, but I haven't yet to walk my dog. Today is not a scheduled workout day for me. If anything, I will probably just be walking my dog today because I have so much to do and I knew that today would be so loaded. Um, so we've got a lot to do. We've got grocery shopping to do. We've got to restock my car. Um, you guys know I'm a home health physical therapist. So I've got to restock my car, get ready for the week. And yeah, I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Hope you enjoy this video. Also, I forgot to mention that our daughter left this morning and she headed back to college. So yeah, I have some time to focus on getting a lot of things done today. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. Ramsey, you wanna go walk? You wanna go walk? Let's go walk. Let's go walk. Okay, so I just came back from walking the dog and now I have my list. Um, I need to go by the office, like where I work. Now, let me be honest with you guys, usually I do not go there on the weekend. I usually try to go there on Monday afternoon to like restock everything or either like Tuesday. I don't like to go Monday morning because everything's just a rush from the weekend. But I like to go like Monday or Tuesday in the office. That gives me the opportunity to kind of catch up with everyone a little bit. You know, I truly enjoy the people that I work with. So I I do try to check in. I try to be intentional about checking in and just see how they're doing, how their family's doing. Because honestly, we all work in the field. So we rarely ever see each other unless we run into each other like in a patient's house. And as far as the office staff goes, we could like literally go without seeing them except for like case conference and stuff like that but I do like to just check in and just I don't know people that you love I think it's important to check in as much as you can so I have to go by the office and what I was going to say is that I don't know about you guys but it is so creepy to go into like a corporate building when it's empty when the entire plaza just hear me out like the entire plaza is empty like no one is there today's Sunday so no one is there and it's dark. We all have keys, but it's still kind of creepy. So I'm actually gonna take you guys with me so that if anything happens, I will have footage <laughs> of what went down. Um, yeah, so I have to do that. And then I also need to go to the grocery store. I posted on Instagram yesterday. I wanted to do a challenge to see if I could meal plan just for myself while I'm on my 100 pound weight loss journey. Um, of only spending 30 to 50 dollars and I put like a little vote thing so that you guys could vote for either 30 dollars or 50 dollars and actually I was a little surprised like the majority at first the numbers came through and it looks like it was going to be 30 and I was like oh my gosh but I think some of you know that I'm trying to lose weight and you actually want me to be able to eat as healthy as possible so I appreciate that it's going to shop for myself the family's easy quick time saving hack because i knew i had a lot to do today i put on a black top to work out in and black leggings and yes i'm just throwing on a black little sweater and only in florida you, you if you know you know can you wear a sweater and still have on flip-flop but it's a look it's a look all right guys so i just got here and something tells me that i probably should have backed in I don't know, maybe I'm just being extra. <laughs> All right, we're going in. So if anything goes down, just in case, if anything goes down, you guys, I was wearing black shirt, black leggings, a black top, lip gloss. She had on lip gloss. So like if they find lips and they're dry, they were not mine. Uh, okay, here we go.
I used to wear a size large, but since I've lost weight, I'm down to a medium, so that's pretty cool. After I left my office, I then went to go get gas to go ahead and gas up and prepare for the week. Then I went to Aldi, and then after that, I went to Winn Dixie. Both of those were a part of my um, $50 grocery budget challenge. And then I came home to clean my car and get everything all situated and ready for the week. So I have not had my car since like November ish, and it was a really busy season. So there was a lot of things that I needed to restock, remove, clean, sanitize, and all of those sorts. Hey guys, so behind me you can see the grocery haul that I did. Um, I'll actually come back and link the video here. So what I did was a $50 grocery budget challenge. I'll come back once I upload that video and link it here in the sky. Before I go through all of the groceries and put everything up and film that video, what I want to do is go take a shower and get outside clothes off. I don't know if you guys are like that at all. So I'm actually gonna take a bath just to kind of relax a little bit because I have no intentions on going back outside again. And I also wanna use, this is not sponsored, but I'm trying this Neutrogena Hydro Mask today. So I use like all of their products to be quite honest. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll do like a um, self-care day and just show you guys like what I use every day, but this is new for me. So um, I'm actually gonna try this mask, take a bath, and just relax a little bit, you know, preparing for work week. I think it's just important to, even if it's only like 10 or 15 minutes, to just take some time to kind of get your mind right, wrap it around the week. And I need to call patients for today. There's still a lot of things that need to be done, but because I've been outside, I gotta get these inside clothes off, so I'm gonna take a bath. Before I do that, what I will do is clean and cook the chicken. Um, so that could be cooking for my meal prep while I'm taking my bath. So I just realized I was in such a hurry that I probably should have put the price of this um, with the video that I'm uploading tomorrow, but this was $9.59. I almost feel like I probably should have watched like a YouTube video or something first because I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just gonna do it together. All right, so let's read the instructions. So the first step is to cleanse your face. Um, so what I have to do is actually go into my shower to get my face cleaner, face cleanser, because I love those YouTube videos where it's like so aesthetic. Like when you see them wash their face at the sink, to be honest with myself, I don't do that. I wash my face either in the shower or in the tub because one, I'm not that neat of a person. Like I would splash and have water all over the sink. It would be ridiculous. My clothes would be wet. It would just be horrible. And two, I grew up in a household where like if you splash and left that water everywhere, you better clean it up. Like seriously, or my mom was coming for you. So yeah, so I have to go into the shower and actually go get my, um, facial cleanser let me just do that real quick. okay so this is what I use like this is all this is not sponsored although Neutrogena if you see this video and you want to sponsor me listen I've been using guys for years and I'm very pleased so holla email is in the description box but anyway so this is the cleanser that I use so first I'll need to cleanse my face and then it says peel the white film backing away from the mask sheet and discard and then place hydrogel down on the face and leave on for 15 to 30 minutes and then after that remove the mask and massage the remaining product into the face okay so first i'm gonna put this on and then wash off wash my hands Ooh, 
it's like there's no room for error i really should have watched a youtube video okay so there's a slight chance i may mess it up this time but i'll do it again another time if i do okay <laughs> finish cooking okay so it is currently 5 54 and i need to take a brief pause in the process of cooking and meal prepping to call my patients away so i've been away on vacation for a week which basically means that tomorrow is going to be <laughs> kind of crazy but i can handle it nothing i can't handle but one of the things that's really important through real quickly and prioritize like who absolutely needs to be seen tomorrow and then like who can wait until tuesday so if you guys work home health you definitely know that the oasis like those need to be done asap and also i'm moving all of my evaluations up to monday so that we can get them going and they can be treated throughout the week and any treatments or follow-up visits or discharges those can wait at least until tuesday or wednesday this is by far my most favorite salad bowl. You'll probably see this over and over again. I only have one. <laughs> I think I got it from a garage sale, Goodwill. I don't know. Honestly, I don't always use Crest. Sometimes I rotate between um, Crest and Tom's, depending upon what's on sale. This is gonna give us two weeks worth of vitamins. Like it says like AM and PM, but I just use one for each day. The goal is always to take my vitamins in the morning, but if I forget and don't take them until the next day, it's fine. So this is not medical advice. I'm just sharing with you guys some things that I take. You should do your own research. So this one's almost empty, but here's a backup. I only take this once a week. Ideally, you would want to combine um, D3 with a K2, but this, um, do your own research. <laughs> do your own research. And I also take a B complex.
right guys so we got vitamins all filled and now i'm about to wrap up the meal prep video so that includes everything for today i hope you guys enjoyed spending sunday with me again for the most part i only share my day like i don't share everything that goes on with my family and i try not to ever get people on camera when they're not comfortable so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my sunday reset i am very excited and motivated to get back to work tomorrow if you like this type of video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye